May 11, 2017 was a normal day. I went for um, a routine mammogram test that because of family history, I had been having for um, about eight or nine years at this point. You go in, they give you your card for your next appointment, tell you that you'll get a letter in the mail the next week, tell you everything's okay and they'll see you next year. Went on about my day. That weekend was Mother's Day. We went out of town, spent the weekend with my mom, um, came back home to a voicemail on our landline that said, um, Ms. Toole, something isn't right. We need you to call us back. So Monday morning when I got to work, um, I made that phone call and again they expressed that something had shown up on the scans and we needed to begin further testing. Within 12 days time, several biopsies, several different tests, several different facilities. I was given the diagnosis on May 23rd, about 11 o'clock. The doctor came in and sat down and said, these are not the words you wanted to hear. It's not the news you wanted, but you have cancer. And it's like my whole life just kind of stopped for a minute. My husband was sitting on one side holding my hand and one of my best friends sitting on the other side. We all just kind of took a breath and looked at each other. I'd been diagnosed with um, invasive ductal carcinoma. The surgeon or the doctor there, when he gave us the diagnosis, told us that it was the most aggressive type of breast cancer there is and that we were going to treat it as such. So our oncologist and our surgeon had uh, conferred we were going through 16 rounds of chemotherapy, um, 12 of those being every week instead of every two to three weeks like many patients get to go through. The morning of my second chemo treatment, my hair began to fall out. I had thick hair, so it wasn't something anyone knew other than myself. I was able to actually maintain the rest of that entire week without having to do anything to my hair. No one knew it, but it was coming out by huge handfuls each time I would even touch my head. So on Thursday evening, the weekend before my birthday actually, we had um, talked with a friend of ours in town and he had agreed to stay after closing one night and um, shaved my head. The afternoon that we were supposed to go, Matt called from work and he said, Becky, someone's come up and I can't leave yet. I don't know if I'm going to get to go with you. And I felt like my world fill up from under me because I knew that I could not face this alone. So I sent a short text to the ladies in our open door adult Bible study. And I said, I know it's short notice. And I don't know what your plans are tonight. And if you can't make it, I certainly understand. But if you can, I'd love to have you. That night, 10 ladies met me at Steve's Barbershop with snacks in hand. We had cookies and we had brownies. We had a party because we weren't celebrating the end of something. We were celebrating the beginning of a new chapter in life. As I sat in the parking lot that night or that afternoon waiting for the barbershop to close, I couldn't take myself inside yet because there were people in there that I knew. And I was feeling a bit embarrassed. I was feeling um, grief. I was mad. A lot of different emotions that were playing through. But I had the radio on. And again, God brought a song on the radio, and I don't remember if I'd ever heard it before and just not paid attention to it, but as I sat there in the car, the words to that song were, oh my soul, you're not alone. A little later in the song, it says, there's a place where fear has to face the God you know. This was a fear that I was facing. But that fear had to face my God because he's greater than any fear that we have. Oh my soul, you are not alone. There's a place where fear has 
face to face the God you know. God is faithful. He never leaves us alone. My family and our church has walked beside us every step of the way. Thirteen procedures later, I can say today without a doubt that my God has been good through every moment. Some were difficult, some were not, but today I'm cancer free and I know that it's all praise to my Jesus. There's a place where fear has to face the God you know Cause you're not alone